Do you want to gain some insight into the genesis of how home wiring mastery became the foundation how I have educated DIYers throughout the years? I'm going to share a bit of my personal story with you in this video. But before we jump into that, if you just landed on this video, you need to know that it's part of a series and it's important to watch the previous four videos to catch up. In the last four parts of this series, we covered a lot of groundwork. I explained why getting the how without the why is not effective. I showed you how to quickly put some of your knowledge together by completing a simple task to fix a common electrical issue that you may have experienced in your own home. And I walked you through the entire home wiring mastery blueprint. So please do yourself a favor and go back and watch the previous videos. Let me give you an example of exactly why my home wiring mastery approach to DIY electrical is superior to any other advice or assistance you'll find out there. When I first started working in the trade back in 1981, I worked for a small company that specialized in residential wiring. For the most part, as an apprentice, you start out as a general laborer and you do all the stuff that your supervisor or your journeyman doesn't want to do. You dig the ditch for the cable, you pound in the ground rods, or you dig the hole for the ground plate. You pack the materials in and out of the house and you do the sweep up of the mess at the end of the day. But as you prove your worth, you eventually start doing more meaningful tasks like mounting outlet boxes, drilling the holes, pulling in the cables from box to box, all as per instruction. Again, as you demonstrate your capabilities, you're entrusted with what's called cutting in. The process of making sense of all those cables by stripping the outer jacket and inserting them into the device boxes making the splices or connections that will ensure that everything works when it's time to connect and install all the end devices. This is known in the trade as the rough-in phase of the job. Now I've always possessed a reasonably good work ethic, so in a short while I moved through the initiation period and I was entrusted with more meaningful tasks like cutting in. My journeyman would then go to each junction box and explain what needed to happen. Very simple step-by-step -step instructions. For example, he'd say, at this box, connect your ground wires like this. Leave two pigtails. Splice all the white wires together. Then add in one pigtail. Then splice these two black wires together with two pigtails. Leave those two black wires separate and tuck everything back into the box. After dutifully following instructions like this for a while, it seemed to me to be such a waste of time to have to be told how to make the correct splices in each and every box instead of why I was doing it. So I began to ask why. I wanted to understand how the circuit worked so then I could make sense of what splices needed to be made without having to be told at each individual junction box. Think of it this way. You are driving but someone else knows where you're going so they just tell you, turn left here, turn right at the next corner, turn right again in two blocks, turn left into the parking lot and park right here. Chances are, if you have to go back to that place, you'll never be able to find it on your own. But if you know yourself what the final destination is, you can map out your own route, and you don't have to be told where and when to make each turn. You might even be able to figure out a better route. For me, this is what I needed to know. And once it was explained to me, then I was off on my own working away without having to be told how, because I knew why. So this was very revealing for me and it provided the basis for how I taught my apprentices and it kind of formed the basis for my approach to home wiring mastery in my upcoming Weekend Wiring Warrior course. I've used this approach to help thousands of people throughout the years as the internet electrician using various mediums such as website blog posts, email questions, telephone assistance, instructional YouTube videos and live video chat. Here are just a few of the comments from clients that I've had throughout the years. Mr. Shine says, this is the best answer I've found. The demo is superb. Thank you for your efforts. Paul Zed writes, as soon as I finished watching your video, I had it wired correctly. Thank you for taking the time to instruct us. John D commented, thank you, sir, for a very plain and simple video. I used this yesterday to wire my son's new room. I subscribe to your channel. And it does my heart good to see nice comments from people that I've helped safely and competently complete their home wiring projects and repairs. I hope you enjoyed learning a little of how I developed my approach to home wiring mastery. Now you have the opportunity to learn more about your home's electrical system and you can gain the confidence and knowledge that I share in my Weekend Wiring Warrior course that's launching in just a few days from now.
Imagine the pride of accomplishment you'll experience when you're no longer afraid or intimidated by a simple electrical project or repair around the house. Putting this knowledge into practice will save you time and money throughout the years. And even if you don't put it to practical use, nobody will ever be able to upsell you into spending money you don't need to when they are working on a home wiring job. For example, sorry sir, your switch isn't working and that's because you need a whole new electrical service and your house should be rewired entirely. Also, if you haven't already done it, make sure you add your name to the early bird wait list. Everyone on the early bird wait list will get access to the registration link the night before the program launches to the general public. So make sure you register your spot right now because there is only a limited number of spots available and I don't want you to miss it. So just click on the link below this video, enter your name and email address to get early access. Now, as you can imagine, it's impossible for me to work with everyone. In fact, I like to keep my online courses relatively small to make sure that everyone can get the support and help they really need. As much as I'd like to help everyone, I can only accept a small number of new students right now while still maintaining the level of support to provide additional explanations or clarifications you may have or need. So you need to understand that this is genuinely a rare opportunity and spots will be granted on a first come, first served basis. This is literally the best program I've ever created. And from the response I've received so far, I won't be surprised if it sells out in just a few hours. So keep your eyes open and jump on board as soon as registration opens. In the next video, I'll give you some specific instructions that you can follow to make sure you reserve a spot in the program. And I'll also share some more information about my Weekend Wiring Warrior course and how it's different from other things you might have seen before. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.